Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be opening up a bunch of packs for patrons. Uh, we're slightly behind this month, so we're going to try to cram more uh, into these videos. Uh, we're trying to keep it to only three patron videos a month. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. Um, now, to start off, uh, I noticed that our patron box is getting... Um, a little thin so I have a stack of uh, packs here that we're gonna crack open and I hope you don't mind I'm gonna have to check prices uh, uh, as we go here kind of but um, essentially anything good out of these packs uh, is gonna go into the patreon build a pack box uh, we've got nothing oh probably get in focus here uh, nothing in the common spot, I believe. Uh, so I'll go ahead and double check this and uh, later on uh, and make sure we're on point still. So we've got Skizik, uh, Final Parting, Verdant Force is our rare, and then Danthea, Capuchin Paragon, uh, and then we got Token and that. So, all right, on to pack two. I'm trying to hurry through these so we can keep this video somewhat short because our patron numbers just keep going up and up including the tiers that we have uh so these videos are kind of getting longer and longer all right we got ourselves a chainer's torment we got a goblin barrage a juggernaut and a grand warlord rada all right we got a pack of guilds of ravnica next Uh, I don't think there's anything in the comments. I could be wrong. I'm a little off on prices right now. All right. We got a Conclave Tribunal. That one's not too shabby. We got a Swarm Guild Mage, City Watch Sphinx, and a Citywide Bust. And, oh, we do get a foil. We get a foil Gravitic Punch. That's not too shabby. Uh, yeah, that's not bad at all. I really like that that card. All right, we got uh, Core 13 we're opening up here next. All right, anything? I, I don't think that's worth anything. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to go back through and double check this. Uh, oh, we're into the uncommons. All right, we got a Tolrens Invocation. Rancor, okay, I know that's worth something. Uh, prized elephant, and we got ourselves a rocks faith mender. And then, did we get a foil? We did. Our foil is that's the basic land. Our foil is a fire elemental. All right, rock on. <clears throat> Getting some foils to add to that stuff too. Next, we have an original, or not a original, the original return to Ravnica. There we go. <clears throat> All right, we got launch party, Bella Lizard, Dispel, Stab Wound. That was such a good card. All right, we got ourselves a Golgari, Kirun, uh, Brush Strider, Risen Sanctuary, and hey, we got an Esperia, Supreme Judge. We got a Mythic. And I think we had a foil too. Holy cats, look at that. All right, so we got a token, we got our, fo our foil, a foil arrest. All right, not too shabby. Man, that's like, that's what, three foils? Nice. All right, uh, last pack is a Core 19. Probably, probably should open that one kind of first. So, all right, nothing good in here, I don't think. Uh, yeah. uh, Stitcher Supplier, that's not too bad. Gift of Paradise, Grave Digger, and we got a metaphor, Metamorphic Alteration. Uh I don't even think that's going to go in there. I'll double check the price, but I don't even think that's going to go in the box. We'll see. Anyways, uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to stop this video here. I'm going to go ahead and sort these cards and get them into our Build-A-Pack box, uh, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back, and uh, we got things straightened out. We got the cards that were worth something. We got cards put in here. That's what we filled this thing back up, as you can see. Uh, we are going to have some more stuff here. Um, we've been kind of concentrating in the last... Uh, Oh, two months just kind of catching up with everything. Uh, we've had a lot of setbacks and it's been a lot of catching up. So uh, in the next coming months, we are going to really work on uh, getting some more stuff to open to put into this Build-A-Pack box. Um, 
Because, yeah, we're, we're still, even though we filled up a little bit, we are a little bit sparse. Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start cracking this stuff open. First person that we have for our Patreon list this month, uh, we've got Jarrett Hanna. Um, he is a new patron of ours. Thank you very much for joining us. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, he is actually in our Fat Pack uh, tier, our, our Fat Pack backer and so he is getting this uh wonderful guilds of ravnica uh fat pack uh before that we're gonna go ahead and build him his uh his pack his build a pack box so the first card is going to be a uh card that's going to be signed oh that's right we'll go ahead and look at that he got himself a rabid bite that's going to go ahead and be signed and then we're going to grab two random rares this has already been shuffled and i did forget to mention i was going to show it um while i was opening packs and i completely forgot um, that we now have, uh, I put, because we've got more people signing up, I put, we've got another, um, pack of standard cards, uh, prize card in here, and then an extra rare and an extra foil card have been put in as well. So, uh, okay, two rares. Then we've got, uh, a common or uncommon worth at least a buck. We'll go ahead and go towards the front. we got a random foil. We'll go ahead and pull that towards the back. And then a foil basic we're going to grab from the middle. And then we get ten cards out of here. We're going to go one. It's kind of full now. <laughs> two. Three, four, five, six, uh, seven, just one, we'll go eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's go ahead and see what he got for his ten random uh, cards. We have got a uh, camera that's out of focus. There we go. We got a City Watch Sphinx. Uh, ooh, Exsanguinate. That's not a bad one at all. Uh, Teljalad the Fallen, Ferivor, uh, Misguided Rage, Cruel Crawl Warrior, By Force, Walking Corpse, uh, Orsha Cultivator, I think that's how it's pronounced, and a Tormod's Crypt. That's not too shabby at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now for his foil basic, he got, oh, he got one of the uh, Graveborn deck foil swamps. That's kind of nice. Random foil card is uh, a Psychosis Crawler. That's a rare from uh, Mirrodin. Yeah, Mirrodin Besieged. Is that a new fraction? No, it's Mirrodin. That's Mirrodin Besieged. My mind isn't what it used to be. All right, next up, we got ourselves... Hey, got an Essence Warden. Wow, he is batting a thousand a day. Nice. All right, first rare is the Antiquities War. And then second rare out of the box is... Uh, oh, the card we just pulled, the Ispera Supreme Judge. All right, rock on. Well, we'll go ahead and put these aside for you, Jarrett. Once again, thank you very much. Now, let's get on to... I forgot to get my knife out, so I'm going to have to improvise with a pair of scissors here. There we go. I normally have a little pocket knife that I have sitting up here uh, that I keep razor sharp, specifically for opening sealed product. Um, and then I also have a, an X-Acto knife set, uh, but my daughter stole that, so I don't know where it's at. All right, so we got the little box that does nothing. It helps helps the the fat pack be a fat pack. Uh, we got the do not steal me tag. We got the rule book, or in the rule book, the uh, the guidebook. Essentially, it's a list of all the cards, and then I think there's a couple tips and tricks, a little bit of information about it. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and throw that aside. Let's see what he got here. We got ooh, the awesome land pack. And then we got uh, a bunch of packs, and then we got ourselves, ooh, the uh, blue and red die. Is that? I like it. All right. So let's go ahead and see what Jarrett is going to get. We'll put our packs right here. Good luck to you, Jarrett. Hopefully this is a good fat pack. All right, we're going to go ahead and skip past all this because there's really no value there. We got a Golgari Raiders, 
Gatekeeper Gargoyle, Disinformation Campaign, that's not a bad card at all, and Firemind's Research, I love the hell out of that card, I really do. Um, I played it in a couple of my pre-releases, um, I played it in a couple sealed events that didn't go so well, but it was still really fun to play. Um, I, I really, really like Firemind's Research. All right, we've got a Necrotic Wound, Join Shields, Discovery and Dispersal, and hey, Assassin's Trophy, all right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. This fat pack just halfway paid for itself. Well, maybe not halfway. All right, get through this stuff. We got a Goblin Crater Maker. Night Veil vale Predator, that guy's pretty good too. Lotleth Giant, love that card. And we got a Chamber Sentry with an Is It Guildgate. Not too shabby. We've got Electrostatic Field. We've got a House Guild Mage, Book Devourer, and a Narcomoeba. All right. Demir Guildgate and an Elf Token. Alright, what else we got? What else we got? Hypothesis. Love that card. We got Undro Under City Necrolisk. Pilfering Imp. Wrong pile. Uh, inspiring Unicorn and a Beast Whisperer. Uh, I don't know where this guy's at. I know he was up there for a hot minute. But uh, I don't know where he's at right now. Hopefully he's still up there. All right, Sonic Assault, not a good one. We got a Conclave Tribunal, Swarm Guild Mage, uh, Securitus Route, and a Hatchery Spider with a Boros Guild Gate. Come on, we can do this. All right. That's not bad, Chemistry's Insight. Uh, Thoughtbound Phantasm, World Soul Colossus, and a Legion War Boss. Oh, and a foil, our Boredom Elemental. Sweet, look at that. Not a bad pack at all. I really like that Legion War Boss, too. That's. I mean, I, I like goblins to begin with. I've always liked it. We had that brief moment they were like in standard Opal Goblins while ago. Well, actually, no, there was a uh, M15 we had goblins. So, all right, we got uh, Ledev Champion, Hellkite Whelp, Demir Spybug, and a Deafening Clarion, and a Radical Idea Foil. Not too shabby at all. Back to back foils, we'll take that. Didn't we get a foil in the last pack? Yeah, we did. We did. We got the uh, elemental. All right. All right, let's see what we can do. We got a Mulder Hulk, uh, Inescapable Blaze, Wand of Vertebrae, and a Mnemonic Betrayal. That's not too shabby either. Liking that. Uh, that's what? One Mythic? We only got one Mythic so far, right? Uh, yeah, only one Mythic. I mean, for a fat pack, I guess one Mythic is good. Uh, it's it's more random uh, for the fat packs, but uh, one's still good. None is not good. So, we got ourselves a Lava Coil, night, another Night Veil vale Predator, Aquaran Assassin, and a Find and Finality. All right. Well, there you go, sir. Uh, not too shabby uh, on the rears here. Um, and so you did get some foils. Um, radical idea. I want to say this is actually worth something. The foil. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think it is. So, anyways, not too shabby. And then, you know, we started off pretty strong with that guy right there. That's pretty good. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and put these aside for you here. Uh, I want to thank you once again for joining me as a patron. Um, all sorts of fun to be had here on the channel. It's just, it's fun on a bun. It really is. Alrighty. Uh, next up, we have, we have, I, I don't know, I'm hitting my mic. 
and I, I thought I had these packs out, but I, I guess I don't. Uh, next up, we've got Adam Brody. Um, now, he is in our director's tier, so thank you very much, sir, for joining us on that. So I'm going to grab my box out of here because I thought I grabbed these packs, but I guess I didn't. He's got four packs of the current standard, and then the Build-A-Pack box. Uh, now, something we did change is... Um, that uh, we're only doing the sign cards now for your first month. Uh, mainly because somebody pointed out that it's kind of redundant to keep getting foil card or sign cards for me. But if you still want them, we can still send them. So, um, Adam, if you want another sign card, let me know. Uh, if you don't want it, it's not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> I fully understand. All right, so we're going to grab ourselves two rares. We got one, we got two. Kind of both in the middle. We'll try that. And then middle here. On the uh, common or uncommon ones, we'll to buck. We'll go middle on the foil, and we'll go towards the end on the foil basic, because we went towards the middle last time. All right, we got one. If I can pull it out, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and we'll go second from the last ten. All right, let's see what kind of good stuff he got out of his commons and uncommons. We have got a um, guilty conscience. I mean, we don't, but we got that card. We got a muse drink. We got a mind rot. Edifice of Authority, Juggernaut, Glorious Charge, Lieutenants of the Guard, Wall of Fire, Terror of the Fairgrounds, and a Vampire Neonate. Not too shabby there. Not too shabby. His foil basic is... Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, one of the old school... And I'm drawing a blank on that. Uh, I want to say Odyssey, and I, I don't think that's it. Um... Oh, but he got one of the old school uh, foil basics, so congratulations on that. Uh, regular foil. We got a Quicksmith Rebel, uh, and that's a promo as well. Sweet. Common run, common worth at least a buck. Uh, Stitcher Supplier. Not too shabby on that one either. All right, our two rares. First one is uh, Lazav the Multifarious. Mythic. All right. And our next one is... Nicobolas the Ravager, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations, sir. The wonderful uh, Flip Walker. That's worth a few pennies, I'm pretty sure. All right. Well, congratulations, sir. That's your stack right there. And then he now gets four packs of standard to go along with that. So let's see what kind of good stuff we can open up for him out of here. All this for 20 bucks. Uh, we got a Justice Strike. Get back in center here. We got a Rock Charger, Inescapable Blaze, and Emerald Soul of the Accord. All right. Next up, let's see what we got. I say Nicobolus, I, I think, pretty much covers the... Uh, <laughs> His, uh, his, his price for the month. So we got ourselves a Beacon Bolt. We got a Guild Summit. Plague Crafter, not too shabby. And an Assassin's Trophy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Again, in a foil Gatekeeper Gargoyle. On fire. Wow. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. I like, I like it when my patrons get this kind of good stuff getting open. It's just all sorts of fun. We got a Crawl Harpooner, we got a Book Devourer, we got a Discovery and Dispersal, and a Drowned Secrets. Love that card. Guildgate and the Elf Token. Last pack, let's see if we can get a Cherry on top of the cake that we've already got for him. We got a House Guild Mage. We've got a Necrotic Wound. Another Plague Crafter, good lord, and a Firemind's Research. Well, 
not an extremely exciting end to packs, but still not bad. You get a Nick of Bolas, two Plague Crafters, that's kind of good. Um, little, oh, Assassin's Trophy, that's kind of good. Um, yeah, I, I, I think we did good. I think we did good this time around. All right, well, thank you very much, Adam. Greatly appreciated being a patron. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Golden... Excuse me. <laughs> wow. Golden Bohunsky. Uh, man, that just snuck up out of nowhere. I apologize, Golden. <laughs> wow. Um, anyways, uh, he actually bumped up to our director's tier. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab him four packs... Grab him four packs. There we go. Throw them out there. I apologize for not being prepared, people. Once again, if you would like a signed card, let me know. We'll go ahead and get you one. Uh, we'll grab here and here. Two rares. Common run, common worth at least a buck. Random foil. Random foil basic. And then ten cards out of here. We're going to go second from the front. We'll go one... I know it. There we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right. Let's see what kind of good stuff we pulled from Mr. Bohunsky. All right, hey, we've got an acidic slime. That's not too bad. We've got a divine verdict. We've got a dis decision paralysis. Couldn't read that for a second. We got a Krakana. I think that's how it's pronounced, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we've got a walking corpse. We've got a bellowing tangle worm. That guy's, that guy's good stuff. All your green stuff has trample. That sounds fun. Uh, we got a Golgari Key Rune. We've got a Basilica Guards. We've got a Navigator's Compass. And a Luminous Bonds. All right. Foil Basic is uh, the Dominaria. That is, tell you what, this is, this island is one of the most beautiful foils. I mean, it's up there in probably my top ten favorites. That island is. All right, a random foil. Uh, we got a Siege Breaker Giant. Common or uncommon? We are at. We got Cold the Week. Not too shabby. All right, first rare. Let's see what we got. We got a Siege Gang Commander. And then we got a Demon Lord Bells and Lock. All right, well, those are your rares there, sir. Let's go ahead and start cracking the packs open here. All right, once again, nothing in the uncommon section. We got a Whispering Snitch, Lot Left Giant, Disinformation Campaign, and a Steam Vents. Not too shabby there. And then you got the Is It Guild Gate to go with it. That's fun. All right, what other stuff do we have here? All right, we got a Mulder Hulk. Uh, Demir Spybug, Securitas Route, and we got a Camaraderie. I'm putting this stuff in the wrong piles. Camaraderie. There we go. Next pack. We got a Might of the Masses, Glaive of the Guild Pact, World Soul Colossus, and a Chromatic Lantern. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, last pack. Let's see what kind of good stuff we can do here. We got it. We got some cards that came with damage on them. What is up with that? All right, we got a Conclave Cavalier. We got a Lotleth Giant, Legion Guild Mage, and Emeros Soul of the accord all right well golden those are your cards thank you very much sir uh for being a patron greatly appreciated not too bad i mean i did it again <laughs> chromatic lantern not bad uh 
camaraderie. I don't think that's... I don't think that's up there. But we did get a Steam Vents, and, and that's good stuff. Uh, disinformation campaign, I don't think so. But anyways, that's what we got. Thank you very much for being a patron. Uh, that's going to wrap up today's video. Um, now, on the schedule um, for... Uh, this coming up week, this coming Thursday, we've got a deck tech uh, that's on the books, but um, we we never we never did really catch up from uh, when I was kind of ill with doing the giveaway. Uh, so we're actually going to have an extra video this week that's strictly going to be us giving stuff away uh, to commenters and whatnot. Uh, so that is going to be coming up this week as well. Don't fret. We haven't forgotten. We are going to uh, give out some packs to, you know, like we always do, I guess. Um, and then for next week, next Thursday is Thanksgiving. Uh, so we're not going to have a video for that day. I'm going to be with my family the entire day. Uh, so no video on that day. Um, I think that about covers it. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click that like button, hit subscribe, be sure to hit that bell notification button so you can tell when we come out with new stuff, and then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuckwagon. MTG. Now, if you do us one last favor and check out a brief message about the best gaming store in Michigan, Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.